Well, good afternoon everyone and welcome back. It is a beautiful day here in the Waikato. It is pretty sunny and it's pretty warm. But it has been about two weeks since we put the collars on and Pete and Frosty came and installed the gateway which is just up there on top of the cow shed roof about 10 days ago. So I've got about two weeks worth of data that's gone through the gateway and the collars are getting more and more accurate as we go along. So. I am just about to go and shift my cows, they're not actually in range today because there's this hill in the way, so the cow shed's actually right behind there and when the collars sink to the gateway it's done of line of sight so they can't actually be seen at the moment so all the data that they're collecting will get uploaded once they walk past an area and it can see them but I've taken a screenshot of what the app looks like on my phone and down at the bottom here it says that there's 284 cows that need synchronizing so that means that the data from those cows hasn't been read by the gateway recently and this herd hasn't been seen and the other herd which has just been over there for the day hasn't been seen either but there's actually 315 cows in our herd so some of them have been and that is because that at the top of this paddock you can actually see the cow shed so it's about 1.1 to 1.2 k line of sight which is pretty good because they say the gateway can see up to about a K, so it can obviously see over that. And what's that? About 30 cows have been walking around and it's actually read them today, which is pretty cool. But I've just let these cows go, so they're walking to the feed pad now. But as they walk along this race, it is a line of sight straight up to the cow shed there. It's about 950 metres, so a lot of them should link up on the way. So these girls have walked past that point, the other herd has also come in range of it too which has probably been seen, but I'll screen record it now and we'll have a look and see how many have uh, been uploaded. So go to my app and it says down the bottom there that there is 167 tags remaining to synchronise. So, oh it's just gone to 166, so it's obviously seeing them and it is, or get, they are getting uploaded as we go. So that's not too bad and remember there is 280 collars that have got to go through that link. So. It just takes a little bit of time, but it is actually doing it because I was just having a little look then. It's down to about 130 left to sink, and it can actually see the feed pad from up here. So that's pretty handy because it's getting them while they're on there. But they're going into number one, which is right here next to the shed. So they've got to walk up this race, which will get them too, which helps. But the young herd is just over the hill there. And you can see here that it hasn't paired up with some of them. It probably still can't see them, like number three here, which was last seen. It says at 6.04 this morning. So it'll probably pick that cow up when it comes into the shed in the morning when it comes up this race here. But it could see them when they're walking to their night paddock. So it probably did grab a few of their data, but it'll get the rest in the morning. These girls are finished on the pad and I've just come to shut them away. But it says there is 26 cows left to sink. So maybe that's all the ones in the young herd and all these ones are done. But I'll have a little look on the computer when I get home. But I was also having a little look to see if there's any cows on heat and I can't see any that are getting ridden. It also hasn't alerted me to say that anything is in this herd. So it's a good sign I guess. We are into our third week plus two days of mating. So anything that's coming around again now is mainly a return. There's not many new ones that are getting put up, which is good if there's nothing for tomorrow. Just about eight o'clock and I am in my office. Now I'm just having a little look to see what we got here. So what is pretty cool, hopefully you guys can see this and it's not too blurry. Um, you go my devices and then collar activity and then it tells you here, see there's one cow 137, it hasn't been, been seen for two hours and then the rest have been. So everything is getting picked up and the real cool thing is you go to, not health, animals and heat. So it has picked up a, color, a couple of animals. So there is number 70 and 280 and they're both in the young herd and it's just come through and it says the heat intensity for number 70 is 87 percent and 280 is 62 so we're going to have a look at this just click into that animal and this is the graph from the last week and it's pretty cool so at the moment it's got the heat intensity the health index rumination so we can add a few more like uh, maybe lying down and feeding so once you add those in it's pretty cool to see to see sort of what they do because they generally do have the same pattern every day 
and then see the green one here that is when it's come on heat and it comes down the bottom here it's actually a new cow so it hasn't been ai before which is pretty cool and if we keep going down here so this is the window of opportunity for artificial insemination and see the big green line here so that is optimal for sex semen and then otherwise if you're using conventional just the normal stuff anywhere in this big wide range there is uh is good to go so We've definitely got two on tomorrow. So that's the real cool thing. I can have a look at my phone when I get out of bed in the morning and I know how many cows are on and what ones they are. So it is pretty cool. There's only two for the morning, but there might be a couple more for when I get up tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Well, good morning. First things first, I'll come out here and have a little look, see if there's anything on. Doesn't look like it. Not in the first row anyway. So animals and heat, there's five now. So we have had three more come on. And what you can do, which is pretty cool, so we'll go group and we'll go young herd because they're the ones at the moment. Apply filter and then start with their numbers first. So we've got 70, 248 and 280 to do. Next row's in and you can see that scratchy's been rubbed. So that's number 70, she's come in. And there's a blue scratchy here, so this is number 248, so they're both in this row. But see this girl here, this is number 54, and she isn't on my phone list, so there's no scratchy, it looks like it's come off. So what I'm going to do, is still made her because that's the first time she's come on this season, so I'm going to made her now and write down on the list that it wasn't on my app, or the collar wasn't telling me it was on, so maybe it might be too early and she might not hold, but... It could come on tomorrow potentially. Well, this is where it's going to be interesting. So I have written the number down. I've said it's too early, it wasn't on my app. And it's going to be interesting to see when she does come on when the app tells me. Maybe we are putting it in too early and she's not going to hold. But naturally what would happen is that she hasn't come in with a scratch. She's so do anyway. But the technology is really relatively new. It's only been on for two weeks. So this is where... The longer you can have it on the better and when the cows start coming on and it's got all the data from like the pre-mating heat, it's really, really accurate. We're a little bit late getting it on, but that doesn't matter. It's going to be uh, interesting to see. Dab is just telling me though that the cows or these cows last night were in a paddock that had some pretty low tree branches. So that cow could have possibly rubbed it off on that and she might not be on at all. That's maybe why the app hasn't picked it up either. There's only one more row in the yard so I'll go and get my cows but here is 280, she's at the back so Dad's going to do it now. And I also saw that there's a cow out here, number 206. So she hasn't got a scratchy but she was AI'd three days ago so I'm not going to do it, I'm going to leave her. I've actually just looked at that 206 up on my phone and you can see that little green dot there, that means she was on heat. And that was back on the 30th it says and then the little red dot up there is when we AI'd her. Just must have forgot to paint her. Come on. And now on to the next herd. It's pretty much the same, I just go to group and High producers, apply filter, and there's my two cows, 101 and 74. There's number 74 there, so her scratchy's been rubbed, but unfortunately the six semen didn't hold to her. It's a nice cow that one, it's a shame it didn't hold. But that's just how it is. Oh, and there's 101 right there, so she is the other one that's on. Last row's just being milked out now, and now it's drizzling, or it's spitting which is quite good because we do need a little bit more rain but getting back to the sex semen so this year I did try another 27 straws and I can't actually put a specific number of how many of them have held so far because I'd probably need about another week and then anything after that should have held but a lot of them have returned so far the big thing they say around it is timing you've got to have good timing you want to do it sort of at the end of the heat and you want to do any cows that are sort of older than uh, four year old or on their sort of third lactation um, plus just because they've got a sort of better chance of holding but That is where these collars are going to come into their own so next year I'm pretty keen to try it again and hopefully I'm gonna have a way better um, Conception rate with it I guess because they're gonna give me all the information I need to know when it's like the optimal time to put it in the cow and whether these cows have had a heat 
if they've had a pre-mating heat, it's also a lot better too. I can see I'm gonna get a lot of benefit out of six semen with these collars. It's just gonna make it so much easier and more accurate. But talking about accuracy, so I did pick up those five cows this morning and they were all on. That sixth one, I'm not sure about. I don't think she'll hold to that. I don't think she was actually on, but time will tell. And it's just giving me more confidence in this technology. Like I say, it's only been on for two weeks, which is a very short amount of time. And to see it picking cows like this is awesome. It probably did start picking cows up about the fifth day, but it wasn't, there was quite a few that it missed. So over the last couple now, it is sort of getting all of them, which is pretty cool. And since it's getting quite accurate, it's actually giving me a couple of other options. So I'm actually gonna try something this mating, which I haven't done before, but I will talk about that in another video. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you've got any questions, drop them below and I'll answer them. Other than that, give it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. And apart from that, see you next time.